Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about modeling and analysis of residential air conditioning and refrigeration system using MATLAB fluid system library. This example models a basic refrigeration system that transfers uh, heat between the refrigerant two-phase fluid and the environment moist air mixture. The next, the compressor drives are 134A refrigerant through a condenser, a capillary tube and an evaporator. An accumulator ensures that only vapor returns to the compressor. This is a Simulink model of uh, this residential refrigeration system. It consists of controller, controller subsystem, compressor, condenser, environmental subsystem and compartment subsystem and accumulator and R134A properties and capillary tube. Uh, with uh, interactive um, an, an animation of uh, pressure enthalpy diagram by using this example you can do. We can uh, plot heat transfer in condens condenser and evaporator and also we can plot power consumed by the compressor and uh, pressure and flow rate of uh, refrigerant uh, plot and also plot uh, fluid properties of uh, this refrigerant R134A uh, properties. And also by using interactive uh, 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 Simscape Result Explorer, we can see each and every uh, subsystem output and all. We can analyze for um, this uh, uh, various plot types like uh, heat transfer um, and power consumed and pressure and flow, flow rate and also pressure enthalpy and diagram and properties of this refrigerant etc. Here uh, there are two more uh, uh, simulation output we can see by using simscape logging and also uh, various output from uh, these scopes. Here this is a compartment subsystem having freezer and fan flow rate. Here there are two fans are uh, uh, used to used to control this one. The next one uh, the top insulation and side insulation and bottom insulation uh, uh, compartment subsystems are there. Then this is a freezer subsystem, each and every subsystem you can see this one freezer. If you double click on this freezer, we are getting this freezer subsystem. It has uh, top insulation and side insulation and freezer air, uh, air block and bottom insulation blocks are there. Then this is our compressor subsystem. In this compressor subsystem by using lag uh, compensator. And then this is our controller subsystem. And this is our environment subsystem has uh, air inlet and air outlet and fan flow rate through this pipe and this is a sim simulation result from scopes it has uh, temperature versus uh, door opening at the time of door opening and compartment and food uh, set point results we are, we, are, uh, we are seeing at the temperature in degree and this are uh, result shows uh, simscape logging here uh, it is a uh, graph drawn between time versus heat flow rate and time versus temperature and also this plot shows the rate of heat transfer between refrigerant and moisture in the condenser and the evaporator as well as the rate of uh, heat loss through the insulation of uh, the compartment and the freezer. It also shows that the temperature of uh, cold air uh, and food in the compartment and freezer at 11,000 you can see at 11,000 second the compartment door is open for uh, 60 second resulting that uh, in a spike in your compartment temperature can be able to see this one at 11,000 second. Similarly, uh, this plot shows the power consumed by the com compressor and cooling load of the refrigeration system, which is the rate of uh, heat heat transfer in the evaporator. The next diagram shows the co uh, coefficient of performance in the ratio of cooling load and the power consumed. This plot shows a refrigerant pressure and mass flow rate. The, here you can see the high pressure line is around 1 MPa and low pressure uh, line is around 0 0.1 MPa. The nominal refrigerant flow rate is 1 gram per second. The plot alt and this plot also shows the liquid volume fraction in the accumulator. Next one, by using this interactive uh, animation property, we can analyze the fluid properties uh, with temperature versus pressure versus normalized in internal energy. Let us see the simulation part can see this is a simulation diagram this is a simulation diagram for uh, this uh, basic refrigeration system it has uh, um, previously we discussed this example models a basic refrigeration system the transfer heat between the refrigerant two-phase fluid and the environment moist air mixture 
the compressor drives r134 a refrigerant through a condenser a capillary tube and an evaporator here the these are all the blocks are there condenser evaporator compressor and these are the subsystems the compressor drive um, r134 refrigerant through a condenser a capillary tube is a capillary tube uh, and an evaporator here the what is the purpose of this accumulator ensures that only vapor returns to the compressor here there are two fan drives uh, two fan drive master flow over the condenser and evaporator the evaporator air flow is divided between this is here the evaporator air flow is divided between the freezer compartment and the regular compartment the controller turns the uh, compressor and and on the off and on and off to keep the compartment air temperature at around 4 degrees celsius in this way we are um, uh, condition the air uh, by using this uh, evaporator uh, air flow uh, division so uh, this evaporator function is uh, is uh, divided between the freezer compartment and the regular uh, compartment here this controller this controller subsystem this controller subsystem it uh, turns the compressor and compressor on and off to keep the compartment at temperature at 4 degrees celsius let us see at this uh, during the simulation what will happen these were controller subsystem here this controller subsystem uh, uh, hold a uh, relay relay with output uh, it specified on and off value by comparing the input to the specified threshold here this were uh, uh, transfer function as uh, lag uh, lag function the numerator coefficient can be vector or ma matrix uh, uh, expression here uh, you choose the parameters uh, numerator coefficient and denominator coefficient here you set the pa parameter to inability is uh, auto now uh, the same thing these are compressor block compressor subsystem in this compressor subsystem what is the use of this uh, controlled mass flow rate source is this block uh, represent an ideal mechanical energy source in a two phase fluid network that can uh, maintain a controlled mass flow rate regardless of the pressure di uh, differential here power is added in the form of uh, isotropic these are con uh, condenser block uh, by using this condenser ev ev evaporator block uh, this block implements a heat exchanger between uh, this uh, two uh, fluid network and a moisture network so that uh, heat transfer uh, can be done between two phase fluid one side and moisture uh, two side is calculated based on the effectiveness of ntu method it also uh, it can be used as a condenser or an evaporator in a refrigeration system depending on the direction of heat transfer this is an important point then and the settings are there uh, counter flow or uh, parallel flow or cross flow in this example you are using counter flow then two phase fluid and moisture properties can set the similarly the environment uh, subsystem as air inlet and air outlet uh, with this fan flow rate uh, blocks now these are evaporator here the you can use so that uh, the same block uh, you can use use it for uh, condenser or evaporator in a refrigeration system depending on the direction of the heat transfer so in this uh, evaporator uh, system here port a a1 and b1 are the two phase uh, fluid converting ports associated with the two phase uh, fluid one inlet and one uh, and the outlet similarly ports a2 and b2 can a2 and b2 are the moisture air conserving ports associated with the moisture air two inlet and out outlet these are accumulator block in this block model say container of fluid in a two phase fluid network with separate liquid and vapor ports you can see uh, these were bv uh, bl and l av al and what is pv in means ports av and bv are the two phase fluid conserving ports connected to the vapor volume then port al and uh, bl are the two phase fluid fluid conserving ports connected to the liquid volume here you can set the parameters like total volume is 0.001 and you have to specify the cross sectional area of port av a bv al and bl now this is a heat transfer coefficient vapor heat coefficient you set as 20 liquid heat transfer coefficient as 20 in this manner you can set the initial fl fluid energy specification also there a liquid we are set in liquid volume fraction 
is a compartment subsystem in this subsystem as freezer and compartment uh, internal subsystem here is a freezer subsystem as what is the food food inside the uh, uh, refrigeration or the, what is the free, uh, this freezer block uh, models a mass and energy storage in a moisture network here this chamber contains a constant volume of moisture this pressure and temperature evolve based on the compressibility and the thermal capacity of the moisture volume here here uh, these were uh, food subsystem this is a convection of food and food uh, uh, blocks is there in this block you can consider as thermal mass uh, now uh, these are uh, r134 properties is also the uh, this block provides fluid properties to connected uh, two phase fluid network this this block also offers a list of uh, predefined fluids how to get this uh, properties block means uh, right click on the block and select fluid and plot fluid properties to visualize the para properties of selected uh, fluid as a function of a pressure and uh, specific internal energy here now you can see these are uh, plot fluid properties in terms of uh, 3d or in terms of uh, fluid properties as contrast let, let us see here in this manner we can uh, internally energy axis or enthal enthalpy axis also can be done by using this one we are now uh, not only with the temperature the specific ent entropy and uh, 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 thermal conductivity these are all the plot also we can user specified da uh, lo load data also possible with this one so uh, this is for 3d the next one uh, plot pl fluid properties are contest plot so that we can uh, do with this r134 a properties this one then uh, capillary tube this tube in this uh, block um, models here uh, pipe flow dynamics in a two-phase uh, fluid network due to viscous friction loss and convective heat transfer with the pipe wall so this uh, the effect of flu fluid uh, inertia can optionally be included the pipe, the pipe con uh, contains a constant value of fluid the pressure and temperature evolve based on the compressibility and thermal capacity of the fluid volume here this port a and port b are uh, two phase uh, fluid consuming ports associated with the pipe inlet and outlet then out on this h port this po h port is the thermal consuming port associated with the pipe wall here you, you, you can set pipe length and cross sectional area and uh, hydraulic diameter also you can set and also friction and heat transfer uh, settings effect of initial settings you can see these are a yeah, influ uh, initial fluid energy specification in this example you are using vapor quality also we can uh, set the effects and initial condition as temperature vapor cold fraction specific enthalpy and specific internal energy here in this example we are using vapor quality now let us see uh, uh, with the simulation now uh, we can get uh, simulation using first uh, uh, from interactive scope in this scope you can see the plot between uh, temperature versus time it's a compartment temperature and foot temperature and set point temperature is, is shown here at the time of door opening what will happen the spike will be uh, um, happen in this uh, uh, tem temperature scope you can see at that 11,000 uh, second there are uh, in the simulation is set by 12, 14 uh, 14,000 second at the um, event is occurred at 11,000 uh, second the when the door was open there is some spike is uh, available this uh, temperature graph shows this uh, spike is happening now uh, le uh, let us plot the heat transfer in condenser and evaporator this is the plot for uh, condenser heat transfer in condenser and evaporator this blue line and uh, orange and uh, gray line it shows freezer heat loss compartment heat loss Evaporate heat loss and condenser heat loss, etc. In this manner, you can analyze the properties of uh, each and every uh, block here. Uh, the same thing for temperature versus uh, time graph and uh, uh, heat flow rate versus time also shown here. This is a compartment air, freezer air, and compartment food and freezer food temperature plot. Similarly, the plot consumed by the compressor, it's also so shown here is a compressor uh, plot uh, compressor consume the power and uh, cooling load and coefficient of uh, performance also described here 
then then uh, next plot is pressure and flow flow uh, flow rate plot by using this plot we can um, analyze uh, pressure versus time flow rate versus time and uh, liquid fraction also there in condenser and evaporator in refrigerant in accumulator next one on the interactive um, r134 properties we can animate pressure enth enthalpy diagram you can see we can set the time as uh, 3600 plus 4 it's based on that the pressure enthalpy diagram drawn between the specific enthalpy versus pressure here there are five cycle points are uh, noted so for, uh, first one is cycle, uh, cycle point one cycle point two cycle point three and four here also uh, the reusable uh, interactive codes are available in this example by using uh, this example we can modify for analysis purpose try for trial and error purpose we can uh, model uh, with some more anal analysis of vapor quality or uh, uh, temperature or enthalpy uh, in this manner we can analyze by using this reusable code uh, available in this example that's all now it's also um, thousand uh, fourteen thousand four hundred second these are L sulfid diagram the next one uh, the the fluid properties of this particular uh, r134 properties there are two uh, graphs are available for this one with uh, normalized internal internal energy pressure and uh, temperature here you can see specific volume and this was a specific entropy and temperature and um, pneumatic viscosity and thermal conductivity and product number so similarly you can see all the uh, fluid properties in uh, 3d and contour format also interactive uh, uh, simscape result explorer each and every block you can <coughs> analyze with this uh, example now it is coming now uh, at the at the uh, at the accumulator block what are all the outputs you can see at p unit and u unit at each and every uh, subsystem blocks we can analyze similarly for uh, simulation zero crossing with with zero crossing what is the simulation simulation statistic is shown at capillary tube at compartment uh, subsystem what is the compartment supply here and what is the freezer bottom insulation and food uh, air uh, uh, freezer air this manner you can um, analyze this uh, r134 properties and s1 block s1 compartment and perfect insulator block so that by using this interactive uh, a result explorer you can um, e easily easily analyze each and every subsystem in this block and elements also there also uh, we can put x label and y label you can also see the legends uh, in, in, in include the legends and all and also by using align uh, and distribution tools you can align the left edges centers the right edges for depending upon your requirement I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. If you are new viewer of my channel, means kindly like and share my videos uh, here to your students and uh, um, uh, friends. Uh, this uh, simulation file is available in my YouTube channel description box. Kindly download it for uh, education purpose. Thanks for watching. Thank you.